I'm going to use a bank model to multiply integers. Uh, and uh, you'll see that these models are a great way to kind of understand why the rules for multiplying integers work the way they do. So I'm going to start with a positive 2 uh, times a positive 4. Okay, So this positive 2 here tells me to deposit two sets. And deposit 4 tells me what I'm depositing. So this tells me to deposit uh, 4 uh, positive tiles. Okay, So you can see the key I have down here. Uh, the yellow uh, with the positive sign in the middle is a plus 1. And the red with a negative uh, is a negative 1. Okay, So you could use just yellow or just red. I mean, just define your own key and you'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead now and use my model to do this. So if I'm depositing, that means I'm putting tiles into the bank. So I'll deposit one set of positive 4 and a second set of positive 4. That gives me two sets of positive 4 tiles. And you can see that in the bank, I now have eight positive tiles. So a positive 2 times a positive 4 gives me a positive 8. So that's uh, a positive times a positive. Positive 2 times positive 4 gives me positive 8. Uh, let's try a positive 2 uh, times a negative 4. So I'll just back this out here. And I'll do uh, positive 2 uh, times a negative 4. So because I'm a positive 2, I'm still depositing two sets. But now, because I'm a negative 4, I'm going to deposit negative tiles instead of positive tiles. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll deposit one set of negative 4 and a second set of negative 4. So you can see that inside my bank now, all together, I have two sets of negative 4 tiles or negative 8 tiles all together. So a positive 2 times a negative 4 uh, equals a negative 8. Okay, so uh, thanks for listening here. I, in my next video, I will show uh, I'll show how you multiply by negative, where you withdraw things from the bank.